when I joined the business, I recognized that we had issues in our payroll team. We've got fragmented systems, we've got loads of data flying about. And when you've got loads of data flying about, particularly over email, particularly on spreadsheets, it increases the risk. We've got loads of manual data handling. Three, four, five times handling the same data. What's gonna happen? We're gonna get mistakes, we're gonna get errors. What I could see as well was we had really, really low morale in our payroll function, which was ultimately leading to attrition. So we had employees who'd been with us a long, long time who had decided that they did not longer see a future with Morgan Sindel. And that's, that's not great. You know, I don't, I don't want people leaving because they can't see how change is gonna happen and how change is gonna come to them. So we recognized that we needed to do something in the payroll space. So there was an opportunity to deploy, scout, harvest that interaction data, and really understand how work was getting done in that space. But because we'd already recognized we had a problem, I put a BA in there. So I put a business analyst in there to process map it. And he came up with 400 Visio diagrams, which were, which were calling process maps, but really it was tasks. And the poor lad said to me at the end of this, Stephen, please, please don't ever make me do that again, because that was just horrible. And, and actually, what did it tell us? Very little. You know, we've got all of these Visio diagrams, but so what? And the other so what is, everyone gets paid every month, Stephen. So is there really a problem here? Yeah, yeah, your payroll team are leaving, but you know you can go and get more payroll people, can't you? Well, yes, I can, but you know realistically, we want to kind of we want to retain our employees, don't we? So you know there was an opportunity to really evaluate what's going on here and how is work actually getting done, and then let's build a business case for change. Now, what, what I'd expected to happen is that we would understand how work gets done, and we would put in some tactical fixes. We'd maybe put some RPA bots in to kind of link those fragmented systems, and we would optimize the process to, to help the team out. But, but what actually happened was, we discovered that only 19% of the payrolls team's time was spent in our ERP platform. So we have coins, maybe not a familiar um, ERP system to some in the room, but it's, a, it's, it's pretty big in the construction space and a lot of construction companies, particularly UK and US companies use it. Um, but when you see only 19% of the time being spent in the core platform, and over 50% spent outside of that, performing the calculations in Excel, firing data around the business on Outlook, and then here's a term, toggle tax, 12% of their time flipping between applications. I think it's a fantastic outcome, before we go any further, that my team in rugby now speak about the toggle tax. We'd never even heard of the toggle tax over a year ago. So it's fantastic that that's become part of the language that the guys are using within the center. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, because of the outcomes from using Scout, we were able to build a rock solid business case for why we needed to do something different. And rather than doing tactical change and tactical deployments, what we've ended up doing is we secured the funding for a fully integrated HR payroll solution. So the team are working harder than ever, but they're a lot happier now because we are bringing change to the business. So we're in UAT, we've just had the system handed back over to us, we'll go into parallel running in the summer and we'll deliver what I think is a game changing solution for Morgan Sindel that will affect every single employee because everyone interacts with that HR and payroll data. We'll still pay everyone at the end of the month, but they'll have much better ways of interacting with that data. We'll introduce for the first time self-service to the business. We'll be able to do things on phones, tablets, wherever we are, whenever. And that is gonna make a massive difference to us. So out of a pilot, we now have a full project running to change out of that system, which I think is a tremendous outcome for the business. So, what do, we, what do we do about it? What do we do with that? We create user stories. So I've now got the payroll team. They are now highly motivated. As I say, working very hard just now, but highly motivated because they can see that change is coming. 